In this following presentation, Mr. Aresh Polyanets, from uh, who is a technical director in Slovenia Forest Service, uh, will present the Slovenian forest cultivation and management techniques and processes. Uh, so again, for all, for all of you who have some questions for Alesh, please uh, raise your hand or, and, or write in the chat. And after his presentation, Alesh will have some time to answer on your question. Uh, but now to not waste any more time, uh, especially Alesh's time, I would just like to give the word to Alesh and to start his presentation. Thank you, Alesh, and welcome. Thank you. Uh, okay, I will try to share my presentation um, with you. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Is it okay? Yes, yes, yeah. we see it. Okay, uh, warm welcome all, also from my side. So as it was said, my name is Alesh Polyanec. I'm assistant director for professional affairs at Slovenia Forest Service. And today my presentation will be basically, I would like to share with you some characteristics of forest management in Slovenia. <clears throat> so forests, as you all probably know or see during the day uh, is an essential element of Slovenian landscape. Almost 60% of Slovenia territory is covered by forest and that places us at the third of the most uh, forested countries in Europe. So um, uh, there is a great variety of different uh, forest types. In um, Slovenia, we recognize around uh, 80 different types and all these types we somehow respect within the forest management and these types are grouped in the eight different European uh, forest types. So, but anyway, most of Slovenia forests are located within the area of beach or fir beach or beach oak forest sites. Uh, forests uh, have a diverse forest structure and also diverse tree species composition. Most of the forest uh, stands are uneven aged or multi-layered. Uh, growing stock is quite high, uh, around 300 to 330 cubic meters per hectare in average. Also, the produ uh, productivity is quite high. The annual increment is around 7.5 cubic meters per, per hectare. And uh, within the uh, diameter distribution of uh, trees, uh, the large diameter trees somehow prevail. We can recognize uh, 71 native tree species in our forests. Uh, European beech and Norway spruce prevail, uh, followed by silver fir, oak, and other broadleaf species. Uh, uh, forests provide many uh, goods uh, and services. Uh, so, and um, all these uh, characteristics require somehow advanced forest management that in Slovenia is based on the three main principles, which should be somehow respected in all forests, irrespectively of ownership. And these three principles are sustainability, close to nature forest management, and multi-objective forest management. And all these somehow characterize uh, uh, forest management in Slovenia, which could be also named as uh, Slovenia forestry school. And in the next slide, I will present some important tools to implement these three principles or 
to uh, practice Slovenia forestry school. So the first one is uh, that Slovenia have a unique public forest service for um, all the forests, which ensuring somehow professional work uh, within the uh, within the forests. So uh, why this is uh, important? As I already mentioned, we have vari uh, var variable forest conditions, uh, complex ownership with uh, very different interests of forest owner for forest management in, in Slovenia. And also there are high expectations of the societies on, on forest also. So uh, that uh, increase needs for professional work, which is done in Slovenia or supported by a public forest service. Public forest service is perform performed by Slovenia Forest Service, which is public organi organization, and it is hierarchically organized in 14 forest management regions. These regions are further divided in the local forest management units and the districts, and each district have uh, a district foresters. Uh, district foresters which cover around two to three thousand hectares of forests. So uh, the main task of uh, Slovenia Forest Service is to prepare uh, uh, forest management and wildlife management plans. Those plans are implemented through the tree selection for cutting and guidelines for the implementation of different measures, which is the basic work of our district uh, foresters. And uh, because the use of forest resources for the forest owners are somehow limited, Slovenia use public funds to support forest owners in forest management. Uh, forest management is based, based on a cognitive approach, which means that uh, we provide constant planning, implementation and uh, monitoring. Forest management planning is um, hierarchically organized at landscape forest management unit and um, a forest stand level. Uh, plans are elaborated through extensive participation process uh, where uh, forest owners and other stakeholders are involved. For uh, such management planning, uh, of course, the uh, quality data on forest and also forest uh, on forest measures are very important. Uh, so we have an uh, extensive inventory, uh, uh, forest inventory, and also monitoring system, collecting a lot of data on forests, which are uh, somehow collected in the forest, man, uh, forest in, in information system. And through our website, they are also accessible for forest owners and other uses. Uh, forest management is uh, sustainable, sustainable in preserving all forest functions. We practice multi-objective forest management, uh, which is also one of the three main uh, uh, principles and basically this is uh, balance uh, finding balance between different uh, demands on forests and um, different possibilities that uh, forests uh, uh, have. Um, first the uh, forest um, fun uh, function map is elaborated and this presents a basis for planning guidelines and measures to strengthen forest function. 
Uh, forest development in Slovenia is directed uh, by close to nature silviculture techniques, which include fostering uh, continuous uh, forest cover, maintaining forest structure and tree species composition adopted to the site conditions, promoting natural regeneration with site adopted tree species resilient to changing environmental conditions, fostering genetic diversity and species mixture in forest stands, and also providing uh, enough uh, deadwood material in the forest to ensure uh, forest site productivity. Uh, <clears throat> mm. Advanced forest protection become due to uh, climate change more and more important. Forest protection is included in all forest management measures. Uh, uh, so uh, we have a forest protection information and diagnostic service which is provided by uh, Slovenia Forest Institute and partly also by uh, Slovenia Forest Service. Uh, this service provides uh, constant monitoring, uh, diagnosing the cause of damages and determining the necessary measures for forest protection. As frequency and magnitude of catastrophic event becoming higher and higher, uh, the rapid response, rapid and coordinated response and actions in case of catastrophic event are also very important, import, uh, very important and are supported by Slovenian Forest Service. Mm. So, um, properly implementing close to nature silviculture measures, as well as necessary protection measures in the forest, are not possible without ensuring the accessibility of forests and the use of ecologically sound technology. The decisions on forest technology is based on the expert judgment of the public forest service. Uh, public forest service have possibility also to stop the works in the forest if, it's, um, if the district forest uh, recognize that uh, soil damages or stand damages are too high. And of course, our role is also in to, to advise the forest owners about adopting machinery, uh, which can reduce damages on soil and forest stands. Uh, also uh, very important uh, is the network, network of forest infrastructure. We built an, um, uh, extensive information system which uh, of the forest road system which need uh, uh, which provide the support for the planning and maintenance of forest infrastructure and also um, support in regulation public access in in the forest mm. Slovenia specificity in forest management is that uh, forest in, is, is that that also includes uh, wildlife management. Uh, unbalanced relationship between wildlife and forest means of course difficulties in regeneration of forests and also triggers a conflict between different stakeholders, such as forest owners, hunters, foresters, nature conservations, and others. Uh, so Slovenia Forest Service prepare also wildlife management plans, two kinds of plans. Uh, it, one is the strategic plans for the 10 years and operational plans 
for uh, uh, which is uh, renewed every every two years. Forestry and hunting uh, plans, strategic plans in Slovenia are somehow coordinated. And also these plans are part of uh, extensive participatory approach. Uh, that means that different stakeholders are involved in the uh, planning uh, process. Also important is monitoring the impact of wildlife in the forest, which uh, contributes to better wildlife and also to better forest management. So uh, within the forest management, uh, biodiversity conservation and nature protection is very important. Uh, both topics are somehow integrated in a forest management. Uh, in Slovenia, we have a high preservation status and diversity of forests, which is seen in well-preserved populations of endangered species. Uh, also those uh, which are endangered at the European scale and uh, large areas of nature, Natura 2000 sites are included in the forest. So in forests, almost half of the forest is included in the Natura 2000 network in Slovenia. Nature protection uh, protection contains uh, 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 represent an important part of uh, forest management planning. Also, key habitats and forest reserves have an important role in biodiversity conservation. Different biodiversity conservation measures are also um, a part of regular forest management in multifunctional forest uh, uh, management areas and uh, forest and wildlife management plans are an important instrument or tool for the management of Natura 2000 site. Slovenia decided that we'll uh, follow a sectorial approach and uh, Natura 2000 management is therefore included in forest and uh, wildlife management sector. So, um, mm, which is in our case, uh, uh, very, very, very good opportunity also for the forestry. So Slovenia Forest Service also have some um, <clears throat> Uh, some important role in management of uh, large carnivores. Uh, this kind of management is a uh, condition for their conservation and also coexist coexistence with them. We run uh, different uh, European project and uh, now the project about links uh, is very important to re reintroduce links in, in our forest. Um, mm, so uh, research, uh, without a research training and international co cooperation, uh, further development of uh, Slovenia way of management forest is not possible. So uh, studying natural processes, changes in site conditions and uh, adaptation ability of tree species, uh, as well as studying response of forests on forest tree measures is very important. Uh, studying natural processes, uh, is possible only in forests left to the natural development. So, um, uh, uh, so besides preservation of bio biodiversity, forest reserves have an important role in research and also in development of uh, Slovenia forest management practice. 
In Slovenia, we have a network of 173 forest reserves covering around 10,000 hectares, which is around 1% of uh, entire uh, forest, uh, forest area. Net network of um, these forest reserves covers different phytogeographical regions and enable uh, research of natural processes in different forest types, which is uh, very important for the development of forest practices also. Besides research, uh, forest extension, awareness rising and popularization of forest and forestry is also very important. Forest extension contributes to professional implementation of measures in one hand and also to reduce accidents in the forest. Slovenia Forest Service organizes workshops, seminars, excursions, and perform also individual consulting with forest owners, mainly when the, the forest owner and uh, district forester go to the forest to mark the trees or to discuss some um, silviculture measures that should be done in the owner's forest. So on the other hand, awareness rising and popularization activities build society's attitude towards the forest and forestry. Uh, it is very important that uh, uh, forestry have a uh, support of the society, that society know that the forestry is important for uh, development and for uh, also for the conservation. So um, we organized also different public events working, we work with the media and a lot of these events is dedicated to work with youth, which is, which is also very important. So that's in short, uh, what the Slovenia forest management uh, practice look like. Uh, so uh, thank you for your attention. And uh, if there are questions, of course, uh, I will try to, to answer. Okay, then maybe I will start and maybe some other questions will arise. Uh, Alesh, uh, other are not so much uh, uh, I would say informed regarding our current close to nature management system. Can you maybe in short explain a bit better what does this close to management system actually means, a close to nature management system actually means, uh, what kind of processes or techniques are we using mostly, which are for example even banned from our forests? Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, maybe Maybe I can go back to my presentation. Uh, um, here I presented um, um, some activities, uh, what the uh, close to nature silviculture techniques are. So uh, first of all is that we respect natural processes. Uh, we study natural processes in forest reserves and then try to mimic the nature and uh, implement these um, principles also in the managed forests. So uh, basically this is the natural regeneration the artificial regeneration we used only in areas where uh, were damaged by uh, catastrophic events like um, let's say Wintrow or uh, some other um, uh, as uh, uh, area uh, are. So in these areas, uh, we, um, we uh, plant uh, and 
we planned uh, mostly because uh, for the preventing soil erosion and uh, to keep uh, productivity um, safe. So, and um, we also then include in this regeneration, the, the natural regeneration, which come maybe a little bit later. So that's uh, one thing. So very important is how to regenerate forest, how to, uh, which kind of regeneration we use. So this is a shelter wood or irregular shelter wood or uh, selective uh, forest management. Uh, also very important is that we left um, enough uh, dead material in the forest to ensure forest productivity and that we uh, try to ensure a mixture of three species, which are somehow uh, characteristics for a particular forest type uh, where we are, uh, uh, which we are managed. So that would be basically what kind of um, silviculture techniques we use. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you, Alex. Perfect. Uh, oh, I see we have some question from Chris. Uh, or better say, comments. Uh, well, maybe I, I can just uh, ask the question also. Perfect, so perfect, Chris. Please. Yeah. It's easier than just uh, reading the comment, but I had difficulties <laughs> to raise the hand. Uh, so my question is mainly, so everybody uh, knows about this uh, fantastic forestry system in Slovenia where what we all envy. Uh, but one critique I often hear is that there's very little attention to deadwood conservation and habitat tree conservation in the managed stands. Are there specific uh, targets or goals to gradually also increase these aspects of the forests? Yes, we also have uh, some new funds available to support forest owners to left uh, uh, some deadwood material in the forest. There's a forest fund uh, established where the money comes from the management of the state forests. And this font is used to support uh, some important or some effective measures uh, for the Natura 2000 sites in a private uh, uh, forest ownership. So, uh, and that is, of course, uh, leaving the uh, deadwood or uh, to conserve a particular stance uh, that is, let's say, for 20 years uh, left out of the management. That's one possibility uh, also to left habitat trees and so on. So that is possibility and we practice this uh, since uh, uh, 2016 when this font was uh, established. So. That, that is specifically for, for private forests in Natura 2000, but there's no, yeah. let's say, overall guidance for state forests, and, for instance, to have at least like 10 or 15 cubic meters of dead wood? Uh, there are some limitations about dead wood uh, in the uh, some guidelines for uh, protection of forests especially uh, deadwood of um, um, conifers, uh, which presents uh, some risks for the uh, bark beetle, but it is uh, some 3% of uh, uh, could be left uh, in the forest, but how many of deadwood is left and uh, all this is prescribed uh, in a forest management plans. Forest management plans are elaborated by ministry, approved by ministry and strategic also by the government. So uh, that is some kind of 
um, guidelines that should be respected in the uh, in the all forest, uh, not just in the state forest. So. Okay, thank you. Uh, we also have one question from <clears throat> Radu in chat. Uh, why the buffer zone is so narrow in Slovenia, UNESCO component parts? Uh, what activities do you have outside the buffer zone, uh, but near components? And what kind of treatments do you adopt in, in this forest, probably? Uh, most of this was already answered in the previous question, but please, Alex, if you can, maybe. Yeah, maybe um, in Slovenia there was um, in the in the areas uh, surrounding UNESCO components uh, is also an extensive area of Natura 2000, uh, where uh, more strict uh, close to nature forest management is practice and it was practice also in the past so there was no such great need uh, to 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 have a very uh, extend uh, buffer zone because uh, this kind of management is uh, well could be is practice also in the buffer zone of let's say national park and it is the management that is uh, usually prescribed also in the buffer zone. So it's, um, uh, that would be my uh, uh, answer. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Alash. And one more question from Martin. Uh, I would like to ask for density uh, skidding trails in forest in Slovenia. Uh, density is, uh, I don't know how is the average density, but density is uh, different uh, and it depends on uh, geographical conditions, relief, it's very important, and of course also um, it depends on uh, concept of forest management. If we are, we have, a, um, let's say, um, a cable system for wood extraction, then the density is of course lower uh, or there is no skidding tracks. But if we want to have a, very small scale uh, forest management to perform, let's say, uneven aged forest structure uh, with uh, low open, uh, small openings, then the skidding tracks uh, should be more dense. So uh, to reach all these parts of the forest, of course. Yeah. Thank you, Lash. Uh, I think Spela wanted to have some kind of comment. Spela. Well, well, yes, uh, there are very interesting uh, questions. I hope you, you can hear me. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, very interesting questions, but uh, maybe uh, uh, be a little uh, patient. Uh, uh, tomorrow I have a presentation uh, on a more uh, precise level. Uh, about uh, forest management in the region of uh, Snežnik um, uh, uh, component and, and uh, the Neric Mountains. So maybe some answers will be given also tomorrow. Thank you, Spela. I think this is perfect. Now I think we have time for one more question. I see the hand from Marcus. Thank you. Thank you, Miha. Um, so uh, one more question to Alesh. Um, I want to come back on the question that Chris was asking on, on biomass and uh, dead wood biomass. Um, so do you think that uh, in the buffer zones around the component parts, there should be a different approach so uh, that we should have a higher target, especially in the buffer zones for dead wood? Uh, I think that approach in Slovenia is uh, enabled to respect these differences. 
in some areas where, uh, let's say, some species uh, which are very um, rely on the dead wood uh, are, then the density of dead wood is higher, or we, we try to, to, uh, to prescribe higher density of dead wood, and on the other side, in the areas where um, there are no such uh, requirements, uh, the density could be lower, of course. So, and uh, in the areas of buffer zone, of course, the management is not so intensive. So, um, the dead wood could be, of course, uh, higher than so. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alish. Um, I would just like to suggest that for any kind of handbook, that we should somehow keep this in mind and maybe come up with mm. some threshold values for, for buffer, zone, buffer zones, either protective <coughs> buffer zones or also um, the landscape conservation buffer zones. I think this would make sense, uh, especially when referring to reference areas. That's my opinion, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh, I, we are quite short on time, but Spela has some uh, thoughts and we have some, one, some additional question in the chat. So I would firstly ask Mr. Buncina, do you have time to wait for, let's say, five, ten minutes or have another lecture? Five? It's okay. Okay, we don't hear it because you're muted. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Spela, please. Yes. Uh... Uh, I would uh, like to thank you, Marcus, for, uh, for a question, but uh, in case of uh, Slovenian buffer zones, uh, which you noticed are quite narrow, uh, there are no measures uh, planned uh, uh, to, to do so, uh, except uh, the uh, sanitary cut if necessary, considering that mostly there are uh, beach forests, so there is uh, 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 low prob probability that we would need to go there for a, a, a sanitary cut. But anyhow, uh, as nature processes are going on, uh, the nature itself uh, will, uh, or the forest stands itself will produce uh, the dead wood. Uh, we cannot emphasize if we don't have measures in fact of protective zones. Uh, so mostly there are protective forests uh, all around the, the component part and uh, the processes uh, are going by nature itself and uh, as uh, the trees are, are uh, coming to the end of uh, their life, uh, they become a dead trees and so on. So this is it. We do not do special measures for uh, 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 for produce some dead wood in, in protective zones. It's not necessary and it would be okay. Thank you, Spe thank you, Spela. Natural process. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't going for, for measures to uh, increase the amount of dead wood. I was rather thinking about other component parts, maybe not in Slovenia, uh -huh. to uh, maybe think about that when you have a managed forest that you, uh, yeah, keep certain natural proce processes uh, in there. But thanks. Okay, I will I try to, to show tomorrow in, in my lecture uh, a more precise information and maps. So maybe the better uh, picture you will have tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you all. Now just uh, one short question, uh, one question from Ivana. Uh, Alash, if you have some time, please to respond mm -hmm. quick. Uh, did you have any case of bark beetle infestation threatening the wilder landscape within the protected area? Uh, what would be acceptable approach to preserve strictly protected forests without the salvage logging, especially in regard to buffer zone, uh, to World Heritage property and its buffer zone? Thank you. Ju just a quick yeah. answer. Okay. Yeah, we have also this kind of situations. Um, but I think that the right thing is to uh, act uh, outside of the reserves. Reserves sh reserve should be left to natural development, but outside uh, should be performed intensive protection measures. 
and of course these measures in the private parties should be supported by uh, the state so